Hi everyone, are we ready? Okay, before we start, we will revise how and when do we use the comma. So, one more time. We use the comma to separate the words in the series. What are series? Group of words that have something in common. Like in this sentence. Can you buy bread, milk and egg? These are three things that you can buy from the shop. So you will use the comma to separate them. The last comma comes before the word end. You use the comma when you're writing the letter. In the greeting, after the greeting, you will put the comma. And in the closing, before your name, before you write your name, you will put the comma. You use the comma between the name of the city and the state in an address. Like here, Buffalo, Texas. It's a city and a state. Between city and a state, you will put the comma. Asheville, North Carolina, 28728. This is a city, this is a state, and this is a zip code. Where will you put the comma? Between the city and the state. And the last one, we use comma in the date. When you're writing the date, after the day of the week, you will put comma. Then you will put the month with the number. After that, you will put comma. And the year is the last. Now, open up your reader's and writer's notebook on the page 523, please. We are going to add the commas wherever they are needed. We are going to read a letter and put the commas where we need, to, we need them. Let's go. 307 Hillside Drive. Dallas, Texas 75220. Any need for the comma? Yes, because this is the address. And in the address, we separate the comma, the city, from the state. Remember, this is a zip code. We don't separate the zip code. We separate the city from the state. So, comma should be after the city's name, Dallas. June 28, 2011. This is a date. Where shall we put the comma in the date? This is the month with a number. Must be together, but separated from the year. So the comma comes after the number 28. Please do it like this. Now we're going to read a letter and put the commas if we need them. Dear Mary, I will come to Texas for a visit in July. I hope we can go to a ranch again. I love riding. Could we go on a short trail ride? See you soon. Your cousin, Anna. Where shall we put the comma? When we're writing the letter, we need to put the comma in the greeting, right? Where? After the name. Very good. And where else, when we're writing the letter, we need to put the comma in the closing? Do you know where? Shall I put it here? Or here? Or here? Yes, of course, we put it here. Good job. So that's page 523 done. Let's go to the next page. Now we have a page 528. Mark the letter of the group of words, the addresses or the dates that use comma correctly. Now we have the address. Look at the address. Littleton, Colorado, 80120. This is a city, this is a state, 
and the zip code. Which of these is using the comma correctly? Here or here between the state and zip code or in the middle of the short letters for the state? Which one of these is correct? Did you find the answer? Of course, it is this one. This is a, sta a city's name, Littleton, and Colorado, that's a state. So the comma must be after the city, between the city and the state. Mark the answer. Now we're going to the date, everyone. November 12, 2007. Which of these is written correctly? Like this, you will put comma after November, or you will put comma after 2007, or you will put comma after number 12. The correct answer is this one. You always put month with this number that shows how many days in the month they are. Then you will put comma, separate it from the year. So C is the correct answer. Number three. We are going to do the closing of the letter. When you're writing the closing of the letter, sorry, greeting, greeting. Where will you put the comma in the greeting? Dear Aunt Betty, you will put the comma after Aunt. Dear Aunt Betty, you will put the comma after Dear. Or Dear Aunt Betty after the word Betty. Greeting, the comma comes at the end. Always at the end. C is the correct answer. Now we have words in the series ski sled and skate ski it's one thing we ski on the skis sled it's a second thing and skate it's a third thing that we use in the winter is this comma use it used correctly only one comma when you have group of words in the series you will put only one comma or you will put comma after ski, comma after sled, and no more comma after end. Or you will put the comma after ski, no comma after sled, but comma after, after skate. Which one is correct? Of course, the middle one. Ski, sled, skate. Three things in the series. First comma, second comma, no more comma after the word end. Very good. Did you know the answer? Sure. Okay. Let's go to the last page, last questions. Again, you have the words in the series. Boots, hat, and mittens. Boots, it's a one thing. Hat, second. Mittens, third one. Shall we use the comma like this? or boots and then after mittens, or only one comma. Of course, the first one. Boots, comma, hat, comma, no more commas after end. This is wrong. And here, the comma is missing. And the last one, number six, we have the closing of the letter. Where we will put the comma? Your niece, Monica, no comma your niece comma and then the name Monica or your comma niece Monica of course in the closing the comma comes before the letter so B is the correct answer great good job good job we have one more one more page but quick revision as well when do we use a comma to separate the words in the series. For example, can you clean your room, comma, dust the shelves, comma, take out the garbage, comma, and brush the floor. These are the things that your mom is asking you to do. After each one of them, you will put the comma. The last comma comes before the word end. We use comma in the greeting 
and in the closing of the letter. In the greeting, like dear Hanin, you will put the comma after, at the end of the greeting. And in the letter, uh, in the closing, your best friend Salma, you will put the comma before the name of the person. Between the name of a city and a state, like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tulsa is a city, then we will put comma, Oklahoma is a state, or Los Angeles, California, 90018, this is a city, California, it's a short version of state, and the zip code. Again, the comma comes between the city and the state. And the last one, we use it between, in between the day and month and the year in the date. If we have a day, we separate it from the month. If we have a month, we separate it from the year. And the number of the days in the month are included with the month. Great. So, oh, sorry. We don't need extra practice. This was for... Okay, let's practice this one. Where we will put the... Uh, comma in the greeting, dear Jake, your friend Sam, after greeting and in the closing before the name. Dear Miss Lara, your student Sarah, where shall I put in the greeting the comma? At the end and in the closing before the name. In the address, I saw many beautiful places in Atlanta, Georgia. Where shall I write, the, where shall I put the comma in an address? between the city and the state. Send me the package to Roseville, Minnesota, 20461. Where shall I put the comma in here? Between the city and the state, right? Good. And the last one, day, month, and year. My best friend was born on March 8, 2005. This is the date. Where shall I put the comma? After the March 8, my brother went to the camp on Sunday, July 10, 2019. We need two commas where? After Sunday and July 10. Very good. So we had extra practice. Now we can go to page 566. Ready? Good. Write parts of the letter. Use the commas where they are needed. We have Chicago, this is the short version of state's name, Illinois, or Illinois, and then we have a zip code, 60616. So, this is an address. Where shall I put the comma in an address? Chicago, Illinois, 60616. The Comma comes between the city and the state, right after the word Chicago. Write it down. Number two, we have a date. March 18, 2012. Where shall I put the comma? To separate the month with number 18 from the year, just like this. Write it down. And last one, it's super easy. In the greeting of the letter, Dear Pedro, where shall I put the comma? At the end, after the word Pedro. Good job! Now, we need to write each sentence and use commas where they are needed. I visited the ranch on May 12, 2012. Where should we put the comma? I visited the ranch on May 12, 2012. This is the date. The comma is missing. Where shall I put the comma? After May or after 12? Of course, after 12, because when you have a month of the year, you include the number 12 with it. Write it down. Put the comma after number 12. We rode, ate, and played. 
This is a comma in the series because it says, what did we do on the ranch? We rode, maybe rode a horses, we ate, and we played. We did three things, rode, ate, played, rode, ate, played. So where we will put the comma? Rode, it's a first thing, comma will be after. Ate is the second thing, comma will be after. After end, we put no more commas, just like this. And the last one, I got back to the ranch on Monday, July 12. Again, we have a date, Monday, July 2. Monday, July 2, not 12. July 2. Where shall I put shall I put the comma now? That comma comes between Monday and July. Between day and the month. You are right. So, that's it. I hope this lesson was not too difficult. Okay. Bye for now. That's the end. Have a good day.